Here is continuous charity limited only to material things like money or buildings, schools, or does it encompass the sharing of knowledge as well? Uh, encompassing uh, the knowledge or the sharing of knowledge, this in the same hadith is a separate thing to show the importance of it. So it does not have to be in the category of the continuous charity. It's something that is mentioned in a separate uh, thing of uh, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. When a person dies, إِذَا مَاتَ الْعَبْدُ قَطَ عَمَلُهُ مِنْ ثَلَثِ if a person dies, his deeds are terminated except three things. One is علم ينتفع به Knowledge that people benefit from it. ولد صالح دعلاء A righteous offspring that makes dua uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him. And صدق جارية A continuous charity. So the علم by itself. So and the علم is whether a person is uh, teaching others or, or extending this knowledge to others or spreading the authentic knowledge. And again, we are at times of ease of evil and ease of good. You can widespread the good knowledge and you can also widely spread the worst evil knowledge ever. So you have to be extremely careful. And that's why the authenticity of things and to make sure that we only spread what is authentic according to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And it's not just the person of knowledge, but rather everyone that shares in this with the spreading uh, the word, spreading uh, benefiting lectures and things of that nature with whatever means people have, as long as it lives and it continues, you know, the people that have contributed in it, they have this uh, reward by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a huge uh, investment in one's life.